I'm just going out to the grove for the last look before the winter snow comes, which will be probably by the next couple of days. When it comes, it comes hard. But So I just wanted to take one last trip here before the snow came. Thought you guys might want to see it. I see it. Coming in the grove. See you, see you. Welcome all the guests. So, yeah. So I got lots of work to do out here for next year. But just so you, the trees are still going good and the plants are all good. Mm. <clears throat> But uh, trees are slowly but surely starting to grow up. That one's really doing good. So are these ones over here. And uh, there's the old cross. I'm going to replace that next summer. And the angel stones need to be redone. Oh, I got, uh, for some reason, buffered on me. Anyway, there's the four winds and the totem stones. Mountain, river, four colors, heavens and mother earth. Yep, there's that. Crystals are still here that were placed here uh, from guests that came to visit. And there's the white owl tribute. The white owl I got. Uh, but Bestie, when she was going through cancer there, we got that put in the grove and said prayers for her and stuff. And she beat it, of course. There's another crystal. Smoky quartz. And there's the families. That's all of the Utubians. And there's the Utubian family with the crystal on it. That's the grandfather's grandfather staff and the elder staff. Hey, Tina. <laughs> so yeah, it's really cold out, but I thought I'd just uh, come out to the back here and show you guys one last uh, look before the winter comes. And I've been cleaning up all the bra, the debris and stuff. My old chair's done. Gonna have to get a brand new chair this year. But I've been sitting using it, but it's all ripping up and stuff. So it's had its better days. I want to get a nicer uh, chair for next year for sitting in here. I think I'm going to get four of them. Try to get four chairs for next year and put them around the sacred fireplace. Um, so you guys can see. That's where the sacred fire burns. When I do prayers for you guys or we do stuff like that, well, that's, that's where we light the sacred fire. But I want to put the four stone uh, seats for next year so yeah i got lots of good plans for the growth for next year looking really forward to uh <laughs> hey temps so yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be really cool next year lots of good plans for it and um i found a quarry Another rock quarry, so I might trade off a few of the stones uh, next year. I don't know. Brother, son, and sister moon still doing good. So we had a a deer and a deer come in here last week. No, not even a couple couple of days ago, maybe three days ago, and uh, it went across here. Knocked over brother's son, so I got to pick that up and put it on back up here. Um, but the deer went across there, knocked it over, but it was eating those dry leaves over there. So, yeah, I'm standing like right here. So I was standing here, right here in this very spot. There's a thing. See? And see where white, it came between those two posts, the white owl post and this post. Came there, stopped, looked at me for like, I don't know, 10 seconds. I said, hello. Then it turned its head, stepped over there, walked right to there, and it ate, ate like leaves off of all those things. Turned around, scooted off. 
out that way, and then up the back lane. <laughs> I was like, okay. But it was this right here is where she sleeps at night. Look at that. So I got this deer that lives in the grove. But she was sleeping there. And her young kids, she has two of them. See the imprint here? That's the one. And that's the other one. So every night, I have to look out my window. And there's a mother here and two yearlings. One here, one here. The spots have just got off them. Uh, maybe three, four weeks ago, they lost their spots. So now they just look like miniature deer. But, <laughs> yeah. So they... Uh, so I got three deer that live in the grove here. Uh, but the mama, she, she sleeps right here. So it's kind of cool. But that's uh that's the grove. That's what they're doing. They're the alimentos. There's all the alimentos there is. Let me try to get a little closer look for you. There you go. There's air. There's wood. There's water. There's land. And there's fire. So there. And that, of course, is the south. Over here. This is the west. West totem. And way up here. We go across here. There's your north totem. Oh, and there's a big rock. There's your north totem. And go over here to the east totem. There you go. There's Hawk. There's my white wolf. There's my cougar stone. And here's the mankind stone. We got the mankind stone here. We have to have to pull up, pull these back so you can see it. There you go. There's a mankind stone. Yeah. The East represents yourself, your beliefs, your self worth, your inner feelings. Um, and to remember to be kind to yourself as you would your friends, right? And things like that. Now, there's a whole bunch to it, but that's just like a super duper Reader's Digest version. <laughs> So let's go over to the west. Obviously, then, who's the west? That's the west. Now, the west is usually someone very important to you, right? It represents, for the most part, most of the time, well, besides the rest of the world, it represents your significant other or whoever you're worried about or thinking about at that time so it represents uh your your other half just more or less and the north represents all your teachings and your values and what you still need to learn and the south teaches you that in any times there's always good times and you can find peace no matter what the war in front of you is with the south. So, yeah. Just thought I'd tell you guys that because why not? <laughs> uh, if you guys have any questions, you can ask them. I'm going to have to um, do a weekly show starting in the spring on the Grove for you guys because... Uh, a lot of you really love the Grove and love to see it and be a part of it. So we're going to be doing lots in the, in the Grove. She broke that stone, as you can see here. You see the back of her heel there. She broke that stone and knocked over her brother's son. So I got to pick that up and put it back on here. And then she ate all of the brown leaves off of all the little trees here. And, uh, yeah. So I'm going to go pick up that big old stone. I'm going to put you guys over here for a minute. I'll put that stone back up. <sighs> <Yeah. laughs> 
Oh. Right, put an extra rock there in case mama comes back and knocks you over again. Huh? There. Okay, we got brother son back in this spot. Maybe right besides sister moon. But this spring, like I say, this spring I got lots to work maintenance work to do to it and I want to put a few more plants in and uh, a couple trees and then I want to exchange a couple of the stones stones out but otherwise she's pretty well done and the thunder staff broke but uh, there was hair on it so I'm thinking the deers accidentally bumped it when they came in. Look at that, or we got a Sasquatch. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, see there, right there. Look, I don't know if you can see it, but there's deer hair on there. And so, gonna have to make a new staff and put it in too. So, but that's that's a summer project, not a winter one. That's too cold. But yeah. Very, very peaceful, very happy here. Um, I mean, when you got <laughs> wildlife that comes and stays in your backyard, you know it's got to be pretty peaceful. So, <laughs> yeah, they did. But they, it's funny because they walk around the gate and they go, they always come in this way. I'll show you. See ya, see ya. <sighs> Or have I asked for permission to leave? Thank you for allowing us to visit. See you, see ya. But see, you can see they made a trail. Look at that. That's their walking path that they got. It goes right out to the back blade. Uh, yeah. So, there you have it, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick, uh, quick little retour of uh, the Grove and show you everything I got to do for next year. And, uh, if you guys would like, we can do a weekly, uh, every week, every Saturday. We'll come out to the Grove. We can do some prayers. See, see ya. Do whatever you like on Saturdays. That's what we'll call it. Weekly in the Grove. <laughs> so maybe we'll do it Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern or something like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, guys. Well, that's it for now. I'm freezing. I'm going back in the house. Nice blessings to all. May God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit bless you. And may... All the wonders of the world help you. See you, see you, all, man. And we'll talk to you later. Night, night. Bye, bye.